What's up, Zox fam? Now, we have the new version preview, the Farewell Fireworks that was just released on the official Dislike channel. We're going to go ahead and jump into it and see what we can dissect. So let's go ahead and see what this is all about. How about having a drink with me? The night is that a flaming cocktail? I can't. Oh. It's dangerous at night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd be scared. Since you like <laughs> Wait, pieces, what? Did she just kill them? To you, then you should know. Some pieces need to be sacrificed in order to win. <laughs> I'd say it's time for a hasty retreat. Dude, okay. Think? This is starting to look what like plot. Plot side? armor. <laughs> You're about to see some fireworks. When people become pawns, there are no winners in this game. I love playing chess. Uh oh. I hate politicians. Wow. A bomb going off? Oh, man. Wait, no, don't tell me her ability protects her. Oh, was that? Yo, don't tell me she's going to have a copy mechanic or something. Or a disguise mechanic. Supervisor. Wow, that's fire. Okay. So we got Baiju. To resolve Baiju. conflict, Baiju. violence should not be needed. Only more thought. He actually looks pretty decent. Be gone, evil spirits. There are thousands okay, we got of me in people's eyes. Which version of me do you see? Yeah, she looks pretty sick. Yeah, I like her animation. Relax. She looks pretty sick. It's just Oh, Inferno, smoke. okay. Sketch her. I was not expecting her to be Inferno. Okay, Jingwei. Tarbet so this is a, a defender. Really? You didn't see anything. I wonder if this is really gonna be a defender though. Oh nice, okay. So another uh trial event. Traces and clues. Ooh, okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Wow. So that's you. She's going to be free. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So they didn't really like finish that one off like they normally do. So I guess that like didn't have like any suspense factor to it outside of the initial portion of the PV. But if we actually go back real quick and we take a look at the new S recess coming, right? So first off, we have uh, Bai Zhe. Uh, bai Zhe looks like it is, again, favoring the infamous flow attuned. It is a controller es Esper, though. So I'm actually kind of intrigued to see, to like, how this Esper is going to operate Evil in the spirit. game. Um, if I was to guess, like, what kind of unit it would be, ah, man. Honestly, I feel like it's going to be a unit that can probably AP absorb to some degree. Like, I feel like that is kind of getting to that point now, too, where um, it's been long enough. T, like, units like T have existed for quite a while. So I'm kind of intrigued to see what they go with. I, I'm going to presume, though, that this unit might have some AP absorption or AP manipulation in the kit. But I don't know to what extent and whether or not it's going to be super broken, right? Uh, then, of course, we have uh, the next Esper, uh, which is Daiji, who is a fighter inferno which i kind of noticed they kind of like their fighter fighter infernos now the thing is though is that she kind of had an interesting gimmick that was shown with like her abilities with it looked like she was able to like absorb or or copy or change into um like from what it looked like in the pv she was able to transform into like one of the minions so i'm kind of wondering if that's a mechanic that will play into her kit as well so i guess we'll just have to kind of wait and see how that's going to operate now, there's also Jingwei, and Jingwei is going to be a little interesting to me because this is a Defender Esper, and it's a Wind Attuned Esper. So I'm almost wondering if this is going to be an Esper that's suited for Fafnir, or if this unit is going to have more value for uh, Calamity Island, or even for the event that's up. I think it would be great if that, um, you know, if we're going into Celestial Anomaly Season 1, this should be a unit, hopefully, that has some value, um, you know, that 
would probably be a little bit easier to obtain. I'm assuming it comes from the event because I think that's where they actually showed them. So if we look here, uh, the very first event, which is the Farewell Fireworks, you can get uh, Jingwei for free, okay? So that I think is probably, it would just make sense for it to be something lucrative to the Celestial Anomaly, but we'll see when it drops on testing, uh, which should be in about a day or so now. Um, now there's some pretty good goodies here. There's also, again, stamina. Uh, you have the Billamon shards. There's also the uh, separate uh, exchange currencies that you can purchase. Now, they also have something called Traces and Clues. Now, they have something here called Ancient Chronos. Now, what's kind of interesting is it says, Explore the ruins of the lost civilization. Uh, and hold on, let me actually see if I can get that a little bit clearer on the screen. All right, there you go. So explore the ruins of the lost civilization, uncover ancient legends, and devolve into the mysteries of the past. So I'm not 100% sure what this is going to be. Like even just kind of looking at some of the screenshots, it looks like it's like basically Kronos, but with different rewards. And even the um, the resource that is dropping, this is completely new. So I don't know what exactly that's going to be. But another interesting thing too here is that it also is showing that what it looks like they have the new unit um, as the lead here. But it's kind of weird because it also shows speed. So yeah, but it says ineffective. So if she has a speed lead, that would actually be kind of crazy. And it looks like she does. As a fighter esper, she has a 35% speed lead. So I'm assuming that that means she's going to be more PVE oriented. So I mean, that kind of, I don't want to say as leaked, but kind of sort of, if that's the case, right? Um, then the next event, which this is going to be for the... Um, the celestial anomalies. So collect keepsakes and from a fallen empire to summon the seasonal esper Su Jue. Uh, now the thing is, is that with that, this means that there's going to be up to a certain number of copies. I forgot how many people were able to get that were lucky. I think it was like two copies, maybe two and a half, maybe I think last of the celestial anomaly. So we'll see how that kind of goes. Um, so, I mean, there's also the idea that you can purchase. So they usually have packs that you can buy as well uh, to make up for some of those keepsakes that if you like, say, for example, start the events a little bit later than everyone else. But again, we'll have to see how they're exactly doing this. I can't answer that 100%. Uh, now, the next thing is collecting ancient treasures. So it says pour over ancient texts and gather myths from ages past. Now, these are little things like it says owned espers, uh, spend 60 in the echo, uh, level up esper to 40. And there's this other resource that I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it is something entirely new. Uh, now they also have the reach for the star season pass. Um, and so it says complete season events to gain incredible rewards. Now I'm going to presume that this has to be something free. I don't think that this is be, would be paid. I don't, they normally have never like marketed something like this, like, like a paid thing like this, unless it was like a skin, right? Like that's usually the only thing that they kind of like have put in place. But the crazy thing is, is that if this is something that is added and it actually, um, you know, is like it says server progress. So I'm almost wondering if this is going to be retroactive to some degree or if this is going to help benefit the newer player experience, which either way is going to make it an absolutely amazing thing. And I'm going to have to try to filter that in into my beginner series if so. So we'll have to just wait and see. So also right here, too, kind of like showed this like really fast. So let's see if we can actually get it to play real quick. Hold on. Okay, so right here, it looks like it says for the Reach for the Star Season Pass. Yeah, it's a lot of levels. It looks like it might go up to 60 because it's already at 52. So it might actually go up to uh, level 60. It looks like there is a free side and then maybe a paid. I think, yeah, I think there's paid points and then there's free stuff too. So I guess you can do this as a free to play or you can purchase it. I guess that's how that's being advertised, at least from what it seems. So it doesn't seem too bad. I mean, honestly, the biggest thing is, is that they're obviously not going to show too much for Celestial Anomaly just yet. I'm assuming they're going to be releasing uh, videos or um, even like infographs kind of breaking down each of the bosses as they showcase them. So we'll have to kind of wait and see if we're getting the Chimera boss again with the goat and the snake 
or if it is going to just be um you know something completely different so i'm kind of interested to see what route they go if they're going to play more into like some chinese or korean um you know lore bosses that would be pretty cool but it does look like there is going to be two free characters coming out of this which is actually pretty nice um i think guaranteed uh you should at least be able to get the base copy or at least one copy of uh, uh suju but uh outside of that um i think the only one that's truly guaranteed for all players is going to be um i think it's what, what's the name of this unit um something way i already forgot the unit's name but hey i'll remember it you know when the time actually comes uh jingwei there we go all right so that's basically going to be that let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below we got a lot to still dive into once this hits the test server but that's basically going to be that guys everyone stay blessed and i'll catch you guys in the next one